Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys asked for in the last community post that I put, I asked you guys what video you wanted to see next. And it was macOS on a virtual machine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. I did found here on GitHub. I'm going to be leaving this link in the description below. A pretty straightforward guide on how to install macOS on your Linux distro. It can be with Camu or Virtual Manager. So we're actually gonna do both of them. This is really a straightforward guide. So this is here the page already. I'll go ahead and scroll scroll to where it says installation preparations it's really straightforward it's not really that difficult we just need to change this it's just small things so we're gonna get started with that right now so right now let's just go ahead and just copy the first command here i'm going to be using dolphin file manager here let's copy that command paste that there control shift b enter that wait for those packages to in install okay once those packages are done let's go back we're going to clone the repository of this GitHub. So let's just copy that. Go back to your manager. Paste that there. It's going to clone. It's going to take a few seconds. It's not really going to take that long. It's not really that big. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the directory now. So we're going to go back. Now, if for whatever reason there are updates, you can use this command. I'm going to just go ahead and just put it so you guys can see. If there are any updates for it, there shouldn't be anything. But you'll see it right there. Already up to date. Perfect. Now let's just go back to it. And now we're just going to go and follow the, the additional steps here. Now we're going to copy this. Paste that there. Okay, that part is done. Now, depending on your processor, this command will be different. In my case, I am using an AMD one. So I'm going to pick this one. If you have Intel, you will pick this one. So I'm going to just go ahead and just copy this command here. Paste that on file manager again. Enter. There it is. Now we're going to add our user to these groups if it might be needed, but just to take precautions, it will be needed. Let's just go ahead and copy that command. Again, enter. That power is done. Go back to the guide. Now here we're going to be downloading the macOS installer. Let's just copy that command. Well, you can actually see it right here as well. Fetch macOS. So we're just going to put it here. We're going to put it with sudo and enter. Now it's going to tell you what macOS you want to install. So in my case, I'm going to choose the recommendation one that it says here is Sonova. So I actually want to install Sonova. So I'm going to pick option seven and I'm just going to press enter. And I will begin downloading the image. So this will take a, a while. So I'm going to just go ahead and just fast forward this part. Okay, perfect. So it finished downloading. Image verification is complete. Perfect. Now we're just going to go back to the guide. Now from here, it just tells you the, what's going to appear once you run the command. So now we just need to use this command. It's going to convert the base image to a .img file using dmg2.img. So go back. It should already be installed with the first command that we put in on the beginning of the video. Let's run that. Let that do its thing for a little minute. It's okay. There it is. It's done. So we can see it right here. Here's the original one and here's the other one. So now it's a three git file. Now we're just going to go back here and now we're going to create a virtual disk. For this, it's going to be 256 gigs. Now do keep in mind that this is actually the main that of the image that it needs because it will be run with this file. If you do want to change the name and you want to keep using this file, you will need to modify this script. But that's all right. We'll get to that part if it's needed. I'll show you where it is. Let's just copy this, go back so it's just been created, paste that in there. Okay, perfect. So it made it. Now let's just go back and we're going to open this. But before I open this, since I chose Sonopa, I actually need to modify this script. So I'm actually going to open it up with nano. So before I do this part, sudo nano. Now you can see right here, let's just put this a little bigger. See right here, you need to change the CPU type from pin rim to hash well if you are going to be using macOS Sonova. So here you can see how many RAM is going to be using for thread. So actually, it's just for this experiment, I am going to be using 14 RAM and I actually want four cores. Now, for the CPU, because if you leave it like this, it's not going to boot up. It's going to go and stay on the script like it's stuck. We're going to just copy this and where it says here, enable. KBM here. Here is a CPU type. I'm just going to delete this part and just paste that there. I need to do anything else here. Just exit it and save it and enter. Now we can actually run the command. Oh, wait, whoops. So let's just put there sudo open core slash boot capitalize 
ancestry button. Now it's actually going to run the installer, which is what we actually want to do right now. So here, you see already uh, we're already running in Camo. So we're just going to pick macOS base system. So this is going to bring us to the macOS recovery. So we can actually see as format the virtual disk that we just created for a macOS system file. So this will take a little bit. I'm going to just fast forward this part. Okay, so we can see it now it's loading here. Mac OS recovery. Okay, perfect. So the only thing that you need to do here is basically it says go to this utility, continue. Now from here, I always put it as show all devices so it doesn't get a little bit confusing. And we're going to find the disk that we created. It would be 256 gigs, but for whatever reason, on a Mac, it appeared as more. So it's not this one, it's this one. This one is not either. So this is the one that you want. So we're just going to erase it. I'm going to give it a name. It's just it's straightforward. Mac OS underscore Sonova. So I know which shit it is. Now it's just going to erase it. It's going to be a really quick process. And there it is. Erase process is completed. Click on to continue. Perfect. Now you can see it's closed out of here. And now we're going to reinstall macOS Sonova. Continue. Now it's going to continue again. Now it's going to try to load it up. It will take a little bit because you're actually going to be downloading macOS Sonova because we only have here the recovery to boot up here so we can actually install it. This will take a little bit depending on the internet speed, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure if it connects to the Apple servers at that part. So let's go ahead and just fast forward a little bit here. Okay, it says here that the server, the recovery server cannot be contact. That's okay. Let's just try it again. So let's just continue this, continue it again. Now give that a few seconds again. Just fast over this part. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to click agreed. Agree one more time. And now we can see here where it's telling you select this where you want to install Mac OS. So we're going to pick the one that we see as made. You can see here, this is the name that we gave it. We're just going to click that one and continue. Now this will take some time because it is going to be downloading it from the Apple servers. So if I'm not mistaken, Sun OS is actually a big OS. It's supposed to be like 12 or 13 gigs. So this will take a little bit. So let's go ahead and just fast forward this part. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, there we go. So it actually is almost finished. Now we just need to go to this one that is this Mac OS installer. Let's click that again. And it should again load up the system and prompt us that it's almost finishing up. So it will take a little bit more time. Just wait for all the script to finish up. And we're going to see the Mac OS logo in a few seconds. Okay, we can see it right there. Now, if I put it in full screen, it should show me that, put it here full screen. Okay, yeah, there we go. So it says about 29 minutes remaining. So this will take a little bit more longer time to finish, but now this is actually the last part of the process. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just fast forward this part. Okay, so now it, it rebooted again. So whatever reason, it just gets stuck like this on my screen. So it literally just got to close it and open it again. So I'm going to go again to the file manager here and just open up Camo here in my password. Now it's going to launch it again. Just give that a few seconds to load. Okay, now we can see that the system actually already finished installing because now it says macOS underscore Sonova. It doesn't say installer. So now it should already be finished. So we should boot on it with no issues whatsoever. I'm gonna just give that a few things to load. Just try to move this here. Sometimes for whatever reason, when it reboots, it just flushed out for me. Now oh, this will take a few seconds. This is gonna load it up. Okay, so I think this part is going to be finished right now. Let me just put it in full screen again. It might get glitched out, but that's all right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it glitched out again. Okay, there we go. Control F, enter again. Put it again in full screen. Control F. It will take a few seconds now. Just fast forward this part. Okay, there we go. It's now loading. You should be pop up with the menu to create an account. Ah, perfect. There we go. Now just pick your country or origin. My case would be the United States. So let's just pick United States, continue. 
Uh, yep, continue. Not going to edit anything. Not now. Continue. Not now. Set up later. Yep, I don't want that. Skip it. I agreed. Agreed. Put here my name. Account name is leave it the same. Put in the password I want to use for this and continue. Now this will take a few seconds for this to go to the next step. So let's just give that a, a few seconds while it creates the account. And then we'll be pop up with the next step of what we need to do. Just kind of fast forward this part a little bit. Okay, and then location services. We you can turn it on if you want. Again, this is just a demonstration. Continue. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna just leave it where it is. Continue. Continue. I'll set that up later. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it in dark mode. I love dark mode. Continue. Should be the last part. No, for whatever reason, whenever I set this up, it will always set up with a with a white wallpaper, and it's a little bit uh, annoying if you are actually doing this in the dark. So it might be very bright for your eyes. You will get this pop up of saying keyboard setup system, but you can just click this out because it, it's saying that there's no keyboard detected but when you win and use the search bar and you use your keyboard it actually does detect it i'm not sure why that pops out so there you have it you actually installed it here you're gonna go to the mac you can see what's the about of this mac and it will say that it's a 3.4 quad intel that that's actually fake mine's an amd it will actually memorize the ram the display assistor the start of this that we created mac with sonova that's actually great the fully functional mac that you can use it it should already be connected with internet we go here to settings go here to network and because you're already connected to network so you go to the safari and if say we want to go to youtube just go to youtube and there it is it actually does load up perfect everything is working so far so now you have successfully been got this to work up in camo now the other part that we will do it's actually optional but you can also do it as well is by adding this in your virtual manager so that way you don't have to put in the command every time it's just having saved so let's just go ahead and do that part now so let's just shut this off shut it down shut down and this is still on the guide so we can actually just close that up and we're gonna go back into the guide here and over here it says here optional use mac os virtual disk with liver virtual manager so all that we need to do here is just basically just copy this part the command go back to your file manager just paste it here copy that paste that command it validates that xml now again we're going to add it again so this one here is it's going to add the actual virtual machine to the virtual manager so if you go here and open our virtual machine manager there's nothing there yet so with this comment, it's going to add and copy that again, open it up, paste that in, enter. And now if we go back, you can see it right there. Now it's still not actually finished to actually open this up. So before you actually go here and open the configuration, do enable the XML editing part. Here in edit, you're going to go to preference and enable XML editing. Make sure this is enabled. Close that up. Now open here, go to the information tab. Now here in the overview bar, put this full screen, go to XML. Now here you can see everything that is the Mac OS. Now the only thing that we need to change here is the cpu we need to add the same one that we added in camera which would be like if you try to look for it here it's it's not gonna be here so we need to go to the overview xml and scroll all the way to the bottom you see right here see it's using the one that's not supposed to be using this is only if you're using sonoma i'm guessing i haven't tried it yet if you use the other mac os it should work with this one i think i haven't actually tried it so let's just go i don't remember the name let's just go back to file manager and just open that up here so nano here it is hash well copy this and go back to the manager oh wait i meant this one and take this off paste that there and says apply it now that part is done now that we did that part and we can actually go to go here and turn it on and we should be able to actually log in with no issues it's going to be using the same configuration that we use for camel actually before we actually continue on i'm gonna first set off so you can see the, the other part here the side of this it's all from the directory that we already have set up that we downloaded from github the open core the mac hd image and and the base system. See all the information here in the XML, and you can actually change it to your preference. If it's not here, it should be on this one here. Okay, here's the source file. Yeah. You can change this if you need to do anything else or change the configuration. But now, let's go back here. I'm gonna start it up again. Get loaded, enter again. Now this is going to do the same process. Now this time, instead of setting up an account, there should already be an account set up. So you don't actually need to do anything else. With the camel, because we already did it on, on the camel part. So this will just take a little few, a few seconds. Oh, that was actually faster. And there you can see, put this in full screen. Actually like this one better than camel. Now put in the password that you created. Oh, wait, put that again, enter. It'll take a few seconds there. And there you have it, you're locked in. So that's basically the tutorial, guys. I actually hope you guys enjoyed this a lot. Please like and subscribe. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.